Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, ahead of AMD's keynote address at Computex on Monday, we have a juicy Navi leak. Now, like usual, I'll leave a link in the description down below so you guys can check it out for yourself. Now, on Monday, Navi is expected to be announced along with Ryzen 3000 products at the Computex event. Now, we've had a lot of rumors leading up to this event, but today's Navi leak is incredible, especially if it turns out to be true. Now, we all thought that Navi would have no type of architectural changes over the GCN architecture. However, according to this leak, we were so wrong. The leak goes on to state that there's been a new shader engine design that has been redesigned for better compute utilization, efficiency, and higher pixel throughput. The leak states 40 compute units with each having 64 stream processors. This would give Navi 2,560 stream processors, and the big surprise here is 8 shader engines on this die. Now, 8 shader engines should help manage little tasks on the GPU, speeding up performance overall. The leak also states a higher RAS back end. Now if true I expect higher ROPs on the Navi GPU. Now some may ask why is this matter, why is this a big deal or some of you just don't understand what I'm talking about. Now previous GPUs from AMD could only have 4 shader engines per die. This was due to GCN limitations so this means we could have more stream processors and more ROPs that they have fixed GCN bottlenecks. So in layman terms you're going to have a better utilized GPU, you're going to have better performance, you're going to have more instructions. Now double the shader engine will result in greater performance and Navi already has the benefit of being on 7 nanometer. So you couple this with the improvements to the shader engines, Navi is looking very impressive if these rumors are true. Now Navi will also have a 256 bit bus which can support up to 16 gigabits of RAM on the GPU. MSI in a recent interview spilled the beans on pricing, $499 and $399 respectively and we're hearing greater than 2070 performance. However the names are RX 3080 and 3070 are rumored to be of the Navi GPUs and that would suggest that they're going after RTX 2070 and 2080 performance. So we're going to have to see how accurate this leak will be. Now the prices also of course are leaked by MSI which is a third party vendor so the MSRP might be lower than these leak prices. Now we have to take this leak with a grain of salt and temper our expectations. However this proves to be true, Navi will be a very interesting GPU. This is also exciting for the next generation consoles as they are both going to have a Navi GPU in them. Now all the improvements that are rumored to be on Navi will bode well for the next generation consoles. Now we're also hearing a rumor of a 5 gigahertz 12 core 12 thread Ryzen 3000 CPU. Now, if this is true Monday could be the beginning of a monumental change in the CPU, GPU and console divisions. Now Lisa delivered the keynote at Computex and again at E3 presumably to announce the next generation of consoles from Microsoft. So I'm hoping that Navi will be as amazing as these leaks suggest and the Zen 2 rumors are also looking great and have the possibility of dethroning Intel. So these are exciting times for PC and console gamers alike. Now the good news is that we only have a few days away until we get all of the concrete information but I'd like to know what you guys think about the latest Navi leak. Will you get an RX 3070 or 3080 if the rumored specs are true or will you just grab an Nvidia card instead? Also, are you excited about Ryzen finally getting to the elusive 5 GHz mark? Let me know in the comment section down below and also come back Monday as I will be live streaming the keynote address from AMD at Computex. Like I usually say, please like, share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one.